everyone, and welcome back to Naval Action! I haven't played this since 2016, I wanna say. I'm not entirely sure, it's been quite a while, two years at this point, I believe. Anyways, one of my subscribers really wanted me to go ahead and play this again, and... I'm a bit so-so on requests, but this one, for some reason, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna do this one. So, uh, we're gonna see what's happened since last time. So, last time, it didn't look like this. So, I'm kind of confused as to where everything is. But I've been playing this a little bit um, to get back into it. I'm not entirely sure about all of this stuff. I remember last time I'd actually set up quite the business where I was able to make quite a bit of money, but as you can see right now, I don't have a lot. Uh, what you can see, however, is that I've got quite a bit of XP, both in crafting and just in the normal, I don't know, ship rank. I'm a captain, and then I've got a craft level of 22, so I'm that's probably quite high, I think, or at least it's more than not having anything. Um, right, so I've been playing this a little bit, and what I just did before reco starting recording this was that I took down a Danish trader, and uh, what would you guess that this trader was carrying? Let's see if I can actually find where my warehouse is. There it is. So what was he carrying? I, uh, and I fought, fought him for quite a while. What was he carrying? Four units of, four units of, four units of Yorkshire pudding. The entire ship, the entire ship carrying Yorkshire pudding to a weight of, apparently, uh, I don't know, a, a hundred, whatever that is. A lot, because I was trying to transfer it to this boat. So it was enough Yorkshire pudding that this ship right here could not carry it. It would sink. And sink by quite a bit, because I think I would have needed two of these ships to be able to carry all the Yorkshire pudding. So it was a lot of Yorkshire pudding. Or, I mean, it could have been a lot of smaller Yorkshire puddings, or it could have been four really big Yorkshire puddings. Anyways, enough about the bloody Yorkshire pudding. We're gonna go. I think what I'm going to do here for the first video is just go out and do that again, trying to get a trader. If that is not the case, then I'm going to just select one of these operations. A seventh rate. And yes, I'll take that mission. So, in case we don't find a Danish trader, I like the fact that they use this guy for the journal. Um, normally he, he looks up all kinds of weird stuff. Um, so, yes. I think without further ado, that's what we're going to do. Um, replenish crew. Ah, there is the trader. I'm trying to sell it on auction. I'm not entirely sure if it's uh, gonna go too well. I put the price well below everyone else. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to sell it by tomorrow at least, and get some cash. But with that said, let's go ahead and go out in fighting. I think my crew... Let's see. Um, the buttons... I'm a bit all over the place. Let's see. Um, permits, no? What am I looking for? Yes, no, I should... Cl here is where I click. Right. Uh, crew. Yes, the crew is fine. Let's just leave port, shall we? Hopefully, there'll be a Danish trader, or a trader of a, any nation that we are at war with. I don't know who we war with, so I'm just gonna take any trader. Um, currently, no Danish traders to be seen. Setting sail from the old port of Gustavia. And off into the world we go. You might notice that at this current point, I'm playing the music that I always do, do for these kinds of historical games, and that is because, well, this game doesn't even have its own music. There is a fight out here. Open world battle. Four Swedish ships against two Danish. But look at the, the power uh, balance there. So the BR points, I guess, is the power of the ships. I mean, there's 
outnumbers them quite a bit, so there's no point in me joining in there trying to get anything. Hopefully, I mean, there has been the trader ship I got, so this kind of NPC trader brig is what I'm, what I'm chasing for. Otherwise, we've got that mission that I took, which is, oh, it's all the way out there. Currently, we're sailing out of here, so we're somewhere around here. So it'll be take quite a while to get to over there. But there has been quite a few traders coming into uh, Philipsburg. So uh, maybe I can sit out there and see if I can... Oh, we just passed Philipsburg. It's a really small ship inside there. But that's the Swedish one. Clearly, looking out through the waves, there is really nothing to be had. We have one over there. Oh, it's another one of ours. And he's turning away. Oh, we got something over there. Oh, that's one of ours as well. Right, I think we'll better go for the mission then, because uh, I'm not going to sit around here waiting for the stupid Danish traders, will I? spy on the horizon, see if I can see one. Um, even though it is the Yorkshire pudding and I was not too happy with picking up that kind of a cargo, um, you can actually sell the Yorkshire pudding for quite a bit of cash. Given there was enough Yorkshire pudding to fill the entire ship. Let's see, what's that? That's one of ours. There's more of ours. Right, so if I want to, at this point, I've traveled past Philipsburg, so I should be around here somewhere. So it's high time we turn towards here. The thing, however, is as you can see down here, if I turn that way, I will be turning. Oh, I thought I would be turning directly into the wind, but the wind is actually coming down. I, I think the wind is changing from north to south. Did it change just as I was saying that? I hope so, that I didn't mistake myself. But yes, we were then I don't need to correct. Sometimes you need to sort of go back and forth through the wind to uh, and that's quite annoying if you have to go through that way. Right, so uh, here there's only Swedish ships. Not nothing interesting on the horizon. I was hoping that we would go ahead and take down another trade ship. Uh, most likely, I'm gonna try to capture this one as well because since I'm since I'm back, even though I played quite a bit back in 2006, obviously there's been so many updates and stuff that. I don't have any of my ships left that I had and clearly none of the money or the outposts or productions. I remember that I was uh, had quite a few productions going on with hemp farms and whatnot. No, I think it was mostly wood because I was doing wooden parts for ships that I was able to sell to someone that was building ships that needed quite a lot of these. Um, he needed quite a lot of parts and so I provided him with the parts and he made me quite a bit of cash selling those. Obviously he probably made more from making ships but that's that. So we're passing what should be Sandy Hill and so from Sandy Hill we have to travel quite a bit far out here. I never actually got to how to navigate on this map. I guess you could sort of see by the speed you're going and then I guess count out the time from which you pass certain areas. I don't know. I think there's, there's probably like some sort of cheat thing you can download and have as a secondary program running that could uh, could help you determine where on the map you are. Right, so we've just passed, we've just now a bit ahead there of Sandy Hill and we've got quite a bit of go, 
quite a bit to go until we see them out there. Luckily though, uh, I think the sun is just about to rise, which is good because uh, previous battles... Damn it, it's a bloody Swedish trader. Um, previous battles, I've actually fought them during the night, or at least they started off with during the night. Although that makes the gun effect quite spectacular, seeing a night fight. So keep an eye out for that, those crossed swords out there in the distance somewhere. Oh, we caught some fish. No, we actually caught s two salt. However you call catch salt. So right, we passed this little island. So we've got quite a bit of go quite a bit of go to go. But we should be able to see it pretty soon, I think. Should turn up there in the distance. One should be able to see it. Above the waves. Um I remember that I I, I think I got like a really big ship from some like everyone got a certain amount during the test period um, and I remember like uh, taking it out of port and I didn't really know what to do so, and, and, uh, and at that point it was really big ship so I could only about crew it half there it is I could only crew it about halfway and I guess the the um, the pirates got some spy or something and they and suddenly, as I was traveling in between these missions where I was obviously, even though it took a real long time to reload, I was able to destroy a lot of these smaller missions and stuff. And these pirates came up, three pirate ships, and I muttered, Oh shit, first time, PvP. First time someone has attacked me. And I'm in this really big ship. Obviously it's a big, big uh, prize for them because I'm undercrewed. I'm a noob. And they know it, and there's three of them. However, I was still I was still a ship that was a lot larger than theirs. And so I remember that I was traveling and I turned um, to the side and I was able to rake the first pirate, like fire uh, from uh, if I was up here, firing down through here. And, uh, I mean, the amount of damage I did to him was quite spectacular. Um, but I can't exactly remember what happened. I think I actually lost the ships. Of course, there was three pirates, so... Um, but I, I remember it was so exciting to be in a PvP battle. Especially kind of a high-stake one. Where uh, the risk of me being... Uh, losing my ships, losing my ship and so forth. I think we're gonna go... I have double charge. Well, double and double charge. I think charge is double the powder. And double is double the cannonballs. So, maybe I should do that for the first. I'm not entirely sure though. Like, I'm just back into this and I'm sort of t getting to know th things again. Let's go full speed ahead. Uh, and the battle will start right there. So, let's see. Um, oh, a conquest of San Timo has started. Nothing I can help with, though, in this little small ship. I don't even know what where that is. Oh, wait. Where, this? where is he? There he is. Right, so he's got 50... 50 five crews. So it's got 15 more crew than me. So if I intend to board the bastard and take his ship, um, I'm gonna have to uh, kill quite a lot of his crew. So the idea here for me is to basically rake him, I believe it's called, is when you fire either from the, the back or the front, the stern and the aft, I think it's called. Um, and then once you uh, sort of destroy all the uh, the armor, or what you want to call it, then is when you can switch to um, switch to canister. Right, we're gonna let him fire a bit. 
because I want to shoot him in the ass. Right, so we're going to have to turn through the wind here. Now, because I'm such a small ship, I normally do, you don't normally don't run into problem running through the wind like that. Uh, but on bigger ships, I remember that it's advisable to set like manual steering for the uh, for going through that, and making it out of there. We actually destroyed one of their cannons, so I killed one crew. One cannon, one uh, point to mast, and some hull points. So pretty good. And I was able, as you can see, I took about a third of uh, his armor on his, the, his ass armor. We were hoping to take the rest and then start putting canister in his ass. Probably want to cut his cut his sails a bit as well. And that's a whole shot. I'm hitting the side there, so I'm not that one skilled shot there, hitting the back. So he's got only one third left, but I need to get closer. I think I think we wanna switch to chain at this point. Cut his sails a bit. Make sure that we have uh, the advantage in maneuvering. I think it just got stuck. Ah, I should have not switched just yet. He's stuck into the wind. You can see he has, he has moved straight into the wind there. And gotten stuck. Ah, he's loose now. So I never really got my chance. But, you know, I would have had a pretty good chance firing into his ass the right there. Well, we got a good uh, good angle here to shoot at its sails. Oh, he's firing back. Oh, now and I now I got stuck because I lowered my sails. So now we're stuck going uh, straight into the wind and we're going to have to do some manual Manual. Uh, oh no! I want to go. Where do I want to go? Yes, I want to go this way. And there we go. We should be f kind of free. Thing is, how we switch back to automatic because I don't think I will be able to control this in a good way. So it's still on manual, which I don't like. Um, I want to switch that back to... Switch that back to automatic, but I can't remember exactly how you did that. There we go. Now it's automatic. Right, we solved that. So I've taken down his sails to 83%. And now it's down to about 70, which I think will be fine for me to outmaneuver him. So at this point, back to round ball. And uh, we'll have to reload a bit. But I should be able to lay myself in his ass, blow the last bit of, uh, of armor that he has that back. And... Uh, then rake him with canister. Well, we got we got a crew there because we hit him in the ass. Let's see. Not really a good angle to fire. He's got the tiniest sliver of um, the absolute tiniest sliver of armor left in his. Uh, in his ass. We're gonna come up here behind. He's stuck in the wind again. And Gabow! Oh, we kill the module and the cannon. Oh, I missed that easy shot. 
Oh, he's stuck there. He's just sitting there now. Um, since we're already halfway of reloading cannon shot, I'm gonna... Maybe not. Full speed ahead. We want to get some speed uh, if we want to cut through the wind here. And I'm about to reload the round shot. Okay, we're up to seven knots, almost eight. So I think that should be enough. Enough momentum to cut through the wind. And we managed. And now the chase is on. He's got 51 crew, so he's lost four, but we have also lost four crew. He is, however, lost two cannons as well, so that's, that's not going too well for him. I'm gonna lay one more broadside into his side, or maybe if we can get him in the ass, and then we're gonna switch to canister and hopefully rake him and kill off all his crew so I can board. Let's see, if I put my ship like this, we should be able to uh, come into his side now the bloody water is in the way. Kaboom! We killed another one of his crew. Right, time to switch a grape shot. We're about to unleash a, another volley here, so I don't want to switch this to grape shot just yet. Give them a broadside! Aye. And we man uh, somehow, even though I wasn't even looking, managed to shoot him in the ass there. So we've taken, at this point, seven crew members. Maybe I should cut his sails even a bit more, because I'm not really having that advantage in maneuvering right now. As to, well, I'm kind of, because, well, um, I am being able to move into his rear quite, uh, quite easily without much problem. We're about to have the canister unloaded into his backside. Not really getting the, you want it to penetrate from the back and then going straight down. So it's not just about hitting the back. We need to get a hit like this. And that. Ah, oh, goddammit. He's stuck in the wind. Hopefully, if I turn, I should be able to come back here and lay the second battery into his ass. Oh, this could be perfect. How did that not produce a lot of damage? I was laying those right in his ass. Now, in, in now he punishes me. Right, we've got grape shot loaded, and if I continue at this speed. Should be able to hit him again. Will he be moving off to this side, actually? And uh, we ready ourselves. Okay, we only took two crew. This is going way too slow. He is getting stuck in the wind constantly, though. Which is good. Ooh, I'm gonna come in range of his cannons. Not very nice. But I will be able to come really close to him. There we go. We shocked them and I killed nine crew. That's what we want to see. So at this point, I've got 35, so I lost 5 crew, and he is down to 35. So that means he's lost 10 crew. Because he started... No, he started... Wait, how many, much did he start with? He started with 55. So he's lost 20 crew. So it's not going too well for him. 
And as he loses crew, he's going to be harder for him to uh, sail the ship and load his cannons. So we're getting a good shot here again. Got three crew. I think it's better just to fight. Probably better to fire the cannons one by one rather than uh, clicking on the full broadside. But at this point, he's down to 32, but not yet the advantage I want to uh, board him and take his ship. Come here, you pirate bastard. You will, you will stand trial. Might want to cut his... Uh, you know what? Stop talking about cutting a sail and actually do it, I'd say. It's going to take a while for me to reload this. So at this point, he's probably having a hard time manning all the stations. For me, I just lost the crew, I think. Uh, but for me, I still have two crewmen in reserve. So we've got seven, well, we're seven out of eight. I don't think I need the, f oh, he's, he is stuck in the wind again. Stupid NPC. However, I wasn't loaded once I passed him. You can see about, we're going to be able to fire at him as we, there we go. Right, so now we're going to cut into the sails a bit more. Okay, we damaged sails to now he's at 64%. Let's see, he's damaging us a bit. No major damage, or I don't think I need to... Uh, Oh, I can actually set up to repair a bit. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I want to have everyone on... Uh, have everyone on cannons. Right, he's going to turn up. He's going to lay another broadside into us. As I open up... Oh, this one was loaded ball. I missed that completely. That was loaded with round, round shot. Let's go back to Grape. He's down to 32 crew, 64 sail, and uh, let's see. We're about to pass. He's getting some shots into me. And I wasn't loaded. Gonna have to spin around here a bit more. I'm gonna slow down so I can hopefully lay myself behind him. My pump is damaged now, it's yellow. So not really going exactly as I would have wanted. We took three crew out of him. So he's down to 29. So I have advantage of five crew member, no four actually, which uh, obviously we want an even better advantage than that. Not really going too great. You can see there that when I'm hitting the side, it doesn't really do that much. And the same when I'm hitting in a at a sort of slight angle there. You want to hit so you get right down so the, the angle of the shot would go straight down the ship. Otherwise you're not really going to hit that many crew. I'm lucky there where he's able to miss most of his shot. Let's see if I can hopefully Get a good angle here. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. That was a good angle. Got three crewmen. And a little bit of sails and one more crew. So we have got an advantage of nine crew here. But I still want even a bit more because as we're going into the boarding phase, um, we're going to have to close in quite a bit further. And uh, with that, we're going to take some damage and uh, possibly lose some of our crew. Oh, he's stuck in the wind again. When we don't want to miss this opportunity to lay some good shots down his ass. I only got three. But that puts him at 21 versus our 32. Let's see if he's able to get away. Most likely he is. We're gonna set sail before him. And maybe I'm able to turn here. So when once he is loose, I've got my second side ready to fire into his ass. Right, let's see if we can get this now. If I just get like a really good hit, then we should be able to... I mean, at this point, he's lost more than half his crew. He's going to have a real big trouble loading his cannons and so forth. And I'm going to get some... Alright, we got three, so he's at 18 to... Uh, 32. Let's go ahead and start preparing for boarding. Boarding preparations underway. Let's go ahead and remove the hut because it is a rather beautiful game, isn't it? If you like uh, ships and so forth. And uh, with the weather conditions. Let's go ahead and... Uh, get back to it. So the preparations are at 50%. We need 62 to be able to uh, completely board. Uh, I'm gonna remove I'm gonna remove priority from gunners. So we move even more. So we've got fully the amount of people we need on boarding. And then uh, I'll, looks like I'm gonna be able to lay one more shot here into his ass. Now it's just about catching up to him and trying in this case not to avoid him but actually going directly for him and laying us alongside. So we've got twice the crew. If he gets stuck once more in the uh, in the wind then we've got him. So it's about closing the distance. So let's turn up here. And lay ourselves alongside him. And prepare for boarding action. Where are you going, you bastard? Stop right there, criminal scum. We're closing in. We need to get closer. Oh. Come on, let me initiate boarding. I'm gonna actually lay myself in front of him, blocking him, and hopefully that will enable me to board. There we go. 
pulling him in and it's time to board him his morale is down to 35 our preparation is at 100 crew we have twice as many crew as him and uh, I think we're gonna start off with deck guns I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to do this or how you're supposed to match these I usually just click on a few things that I think looks good but I guess you have to keep a check on your morale and the preparation so all his morale just went with that deck gun so uh, I guess we'll go ahead and cross over and attack he's actually got marines I don't have any marines I guess his morale is gone and boom the battle is over now we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at his ship what does he have additional brake pumps I'm gonna take those and you know what uh, I'm gonna move over some crew I'm gonna take this ship back to port and sell it so now you can see both carry the beautiful Swedish flag very nice we're gonna just move up a bit and I think th you know what this will be it for this video hopefully by next time I will have um, have improved quite a bit maybe uh, carrying or sailing a bigger ship and uh, yeah we'll see well I'll see what kind of response I get from this video if you want to see anything more of this with that said hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!